Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, all right, I just want to do a real quick review on the Zoom H1. Um, I already got everything out, laid out here um, because uh, if you don't know how to get something down in the box, you probably can't work this anyways. All right, well, my kit came with uh, the USB, uh, nice little fuzzy uh, windscreen, uh, little tripod, uh, the Zoom, and nice little carrying case. It's pretty durable. And uh, I think it came with this little micro SD card and, uh, adapter, and if not, I can't remember. Anyway, all right, well, I'm actually using this right now to record. Uh, you can see the record light is on, 36 seconds. Um, I don't have the windscreen on, so you might hear some racket side noise. I just wanted you to see the shiny mics. Ooh, pretty shiny. Yeah, the little cross-directional thing works real good for, like, killing reverb and, like, mixing the overall sound. Like, if you just got, like, drums, keyboard, piano, uh, you know, whatever, it, like, seems to level them all out pretty good. It doesn't really cheat you. You know, you get a good mix, but also like if you want to focus on one thing, it does a real good job of that. It's like super sensitive, so you might want to record in like a very quiet area because, as you can hear, you probably hear noise, it's probably rain, all kind of different stuff. Um, all right, it's real simple to use. Got your time, your levels, which is like peeking out right now. Not good. Um, MP3, battery alive. Um, if you want to record, you just hit record. You want to stop, you just hit record. Nice and simple. Um, all right, on the side, you got your power, uh, your little USB. Um, trash can, bag, play, forward input level, and line in. You can adjust your input level manually by shifting off the middle button, which is the auto level, and it also has low cut and select your format MP3 or wave. The auto level is nice for like doing stuff like I'm doing now, where the volume's changing but not too drastic. You know, if you're gonna like come in with some crazy drum fill and then like play something soft, you know, you probably want to set your auto level because when you go to um, play it back, it's just gonna blow you away, and then you're gonna have to jack your speakers up really loud because it's gonna be quiet, and that means more time to go around with, you know, editing. All right, so I got my um, headphones in right now. Uh, you know, monitoring myself, and uh, then it's got a volume right beside it. Micro SD. If you don't have headphones, it's got a little crappy speaker on the bottom. You know, I mean, what do you expect for a speaker that's like a centimeter wide? But you know, hey, I have used it, so I'm not gonna diss it. Um, you know, that's about it for uh, the Zoom. Um, all right, over here, um, it comes with. Hold on. Uh, okay. right, it comes with this nice little Wave Lab program. Um, that's not Wave. Yeah, it's Wave Lab 7. Um, it actually works really good. Um, it's super simple. And uh, you got like three little uh, effects um, plugins that you can do. Um, they work really good. They have uh, little drop down menus. You can pick uh, what kind of sampler you want. You got like auto pan, chorus, compressor, gate, limiter, room works, stereo delay, stereo enhancer, stereo EQ. Right, so you want to load one, it just automatically like loads and starts playing and demoing it right then if you're listening to it in loop mode. And then each one of these has factory presets. Um, you know, a pretty good bit. Um, so that's nice. You know, you don't have to do a whole lot of tweaking. But if you do, you know, you still got the options to do it right there. Uh, and then, you know, you kind of got your master level. You know, you can cut, edit, um, leave everything while you're working on it. Uh, so you just hit play real quick here. That was me, like, uh, putting it, like, directly in front of my speakers. Uh, you know, not the greatest sound, but, you know, uh, it was just live sound. It picks up really good bass for uh, a condenser microphone. Uh, I'm really impressed with that. Um, you know, a lot of times you don't get a real good bass sound unless you use, like, a dynamic microphone. So they did a really good job doing that. I don't know how they did, but they're smart. All right. Um, uh, you can also go to um, this uh, audio montage. Let's start a new one. 440 100 uh, you can like stack your tracks you know mix different stuff together get creative uh, it's got like a little podcast thing here I don't know what that does I'm not like you know a podcaster so you know if you figure out how to work that and it's like handy and I could get famous let me know um, yeah I think that's just about it uh, this is just like a really good um, overall product they do a really good job and it's not super expensive which I love because I'm cheap um, you know, but I mean, if you're a pro, don't don't knock it, man. I mean, like you can still use this thing because um, it definitely does like pro quality sound. But amateurs can use it too, which is super cool. It's like user friendly, and it was only like 100 bucks. I think well, actually, I think it was like 120 bucks. But I got a bunch of other stuff with it. Um, so you know, uh, it, it's really good. And I just want to give like Zoom H1 you know, some, some props. You know, thanks Zoom. Uh, you made my day. And uh, you know, if you uh, uh, if you want to hear. Um, some live recordings, uh, just go to my YouTube page and check that out.